Hi guys, welcome back to Hanging Out with Lori. How are you today? I hope you are doing well, that it is beautiful in your neighborhood, and that it's just a good day. I hope that this finds you happy and healthy, and that your friends, family, and loved ones are well. Also, today is a video with Andrea over at It's All About the Face. We do a monthly collab on the 18th of each month, this month's theme is um, using the other's favorite Maybelline City Mini Palette. My favorite City Mini Palette is the Downtown Sunrise. It was my favorite palette of 2018. I just dearly love this palette. I think it is a, you know, one and done look. You can get... You can do just an all matte look. You can add some pops of color, a little shimmer of different, you know, cool tones, warm tones. We even have a neutral tone. I do have brown up in this champagne like color, but that's the beauty of drugstore. Sometimes they are a little powdery, but I love this, love this, um, palette. And in fact, this is Andrea's favorite City Mini palette as well. So I am excited to revisit this. This was in a project back in 2018. And my goal was to hit pan on every color. I hit pan on two. <laughs> These two are really close, the two mattes, but they're not quite there. And I have not used this since I finished that project sadly enough, because I, re I really do like this palette. So I'm just taking this matte cream shade right here and I am setting the primer that I laid down prior to um, starting this video. I'm using my Ulta Beauty Matte Eye Primer in Nude. I love that primer but I'm almost out, so it is a booger to get out of the tube. That's why I'm doing it. I did it off camera. Okay, that's a little white. I don't remember it being so white. It is beautiful here today. It is supposed to be 75 degrees. When I got up this morning, I was chilly, so I put on this long sleeve shirt. No, I'm not so sure that was a smart thing to do since it's supposed to be 75. The wind is blowing, however, so, you know, that does make it a little cooler. But it's not blowing as hard as it sometimes does, so. If you have never been to Wyoming, we love our wind. We love our wind. I'm going to take this cream well it's more like a tan shade and just put it in my crease i once made the statement that it isn't windy unless i have to use my foot to prop open my car door otherwise it's just a breeze so yeah that that's how i feel about the wind here unless i have to use my foot to hold that door open it's just a breezy day so I think it's just a breezy day today. So getting back to Andrea, Andrea is an amazing lady. If you are not from her channel, which I'm suspecting many of you are coming from her channel because she is a bigger channel than me, but she is just the sweetest thing. You know, just very down to earth. She does a lot of reviews, comparisons. She does collabs like this one. She, uh, we do a birthstone collab each month as well. That's actually how I met her. But she is just the sweetest lady. And if you haven't checked out Andrea yet, you need to go check her out. She's just awesome. Of course, that's my humble opinion, but you know, I think she's great. And I can't imagine anyone 
not thinking she's great as well. So make sure you go check her out. Okay, I'm going to take this brown shade and it's very pigmented so I am just going to gently place it into my onto my lower lid and then up into my crease. I know this brush is kind of big but I feel like I have more control with this than I do with other shader brushes so that's why I like to use it. All right I am going to take this coral shade and tap it all over my lid. Oh I'm taking this pink here and just putting it in on the inside part of my lid. I am going to go finish my face. I probably will kind of do something to this. Whether it's just mascara or liner and mascara or whether I add another color, I don't know. But it needs a little something something. So let me go do my face and I will be right back. I wish I could snap my fingers. That'd be nice. All right, guys, this is my final look. If the camera has moved, my apologies. I did whack it and everything went awry. But I tried to get it back into its normal spot, but I don't think I did. Anyways, back to my look. This is my final look. I do like it. I did take the brown and just wash it over the outside. For some reason, it looks really pale on camera, but in in the mirror, it's very, um, I guess, present, <laughs> for lack of a better word. I also took this pink, put it in my inner corner and up onto my lid. Kind of like what I did tapping it on, but it wasn't bold enough for me. So I did just build it up and I like I like the look of using a brush with with that. I took the champagne shade, put it on my brow bone because my goal was to use everything in this palette. And so I succeeded. I wasn't sure I was going to because I didn't know if that champagne would look okay, but it does. And then this peach shade, I then took a brush and packed it on into the middle. So it was just a little more vibrant than what what it was before. I used my J-Cat Beauty Shimmering Bronze to line my upper lid. It's not very dark, which is what I like about it. It adds just a little bit of depth to that lash line that wasn't there so I do like the shimmering bronze you can't really see it it's there but I guess you can see it just a little bit but it is there and then I just put on my Maybelline Colossal mascara and that was it that's all I did um I like this look that is it. Make sure you go check out Andrea and see the look that she did. I know it's going to be beautiful because, well, because Andrea did it. You guys, take good care of yourself. Be safe. Make sure you wash your hands. And I will see you on the next one.